Hey guys, I know you can't hear me very well probably and I know you can't see me very well because it's dark outside and it's also pouring rain, but um, I am back at work and tonight is actually my first night off of orientation. So tonight is the first night that I will have half of the unit to myself. So um, I'm hoping maybe we can find a way to do a little bit more of vlogging um, now that I am on my own and I don't have to be working with another CNA except for like whenever I'm doing um, mechanical lift type stuff. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to say hello to you guys and um, I'm chilling in the car listening to Christmas music of all things um, until it's time for me to go inside. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. So I have to wait three more minutes before I can clock in because it was raining. So I decided to take advantage of the break in the rain and walk inside while it kind of stopped raining as hard. So now I have to wait and I'm a little bit nervous about my first night on my own. So wish me luck. So if you can see, I started getting cups so that I can get ice um, and pass ice waters. The person that I'm working with tonight isn't here yet. She is supposed to be here at like 11 and it's about quarter to 11 right now. The nurse just went outside to take a break. So I'm like covering both sides of the unit while nobody else is up here. And um, we'll see how tonight goes. Wish me luck, you guys. So far, so good. Um, I have the same side of the unit, same people that I had the last day that I was here, so I'm hoping tonight will be just as good as the last time. So I've passed waters and everything, and so far my first night on my own is going pretty well. I did a first set of rounds, and then um, I just have to remember who I need to get up in the morning. I know two of the people, well, three of the people that I'm supposed to get up in the morning. Um, each of the sides of this unit have four people that were supposed to get up in the morning, but one of the ladies doesn't usually get up because she's like 100 years old. Um, so, you know, obviously if somebody refuses to get up, I'm not gonna get them up, but, um, yeah, I passed ice water so far, and um, I've just been sitting here um, answering any call lights that go off. It's been super chill so far tonight. Okay, so it is 2.30 now, and I am on my lunch break. <sighs> my first night on my own is going okay. <clears throat> um, there's a couple of issues with, like, people trying to get out of bed or, you know, whatever, but that kind of comes with the territory, so it's just, like, super hot. I don't know if you can really tell by my face, but it's super hot on the unit. Why does it seem like lunch breaks go by so fast? Like, couldn't you last just a little bit longer? I could really use a break, like an extended lunch, but I don't do that to the people who I'm working with. So, 30 minutes is the max. But, I'm probably gonna regret it later. And when I get home, I'm gonna just like collapse into the bed. And I have a lot of stuff to get done this week. I have doctor's appointments and things like that, so this should be fun. <laughs> you know, trying to <clears throat> get all of that stuff done, plus work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm off Friday and Saturday this week, so that's good at least. Okay, guys. So... 
I'm about to leave work and um, there's something that pisses me off. If you're a CNA and I don't care what shift you are, if you're coming in and relieving somebody, don't just walk around them and do whatever the hell you want to do when you see somebody standing there waiting to give you a report. Like, I'm not about to sit here and wait for you when I have to be back tonight. You know, it is just ridiculous. Um, this girl came in and literally just started doing things in the rooms that I had last night. Didn't even say anything to me. Asked if I was an orientee and just proceeded to do whatever she was going to do. So I'm like, well, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going home because I'm not about to sit here and wait for an hour when I could spend that hour sleeping. You know, um, I mean, honestly, it'll probably take me about that long to get home. Not an hour, but like a half an hour. Um, but I am loving that it is like starting to get light out when I'm leaving work because it sucks, you know, when you get to work and it's dark and you leave work and it's dark. It just sucks. Um, so I kind of like that it's light out. But overall, my first night on my own off of orientation went pretty well, I would say. Um, I had the new admit side of the unit again. And um, everything was pretty calm. You know, I got done with about 15 minutes left to spare. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, like I said, I'm about to go home. I hope you guys enjoyed this work vlog. This one was better than the ones that I've been able to do before because like I said, I haven't, um, I'm, I don't have to be with another, um, CNA anymore. So anyways, I am exhausted. My feet are killing me. So I'm about to go home and sleep and get some water because I'm beyond thirsty and then I'm about to come back and do it all over again tonight. I don't know if I will be on the um, new admit side or not. So we shall see. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this work vlog. Thank you for watching. If there's any topics you would like me to talk about, any questions I can answer for you, please let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys again in my next video.